the suicide bomber targeted this busy square in Bosaso, a security checkpoint for local police, and not far from the district headquarters. ISIL has since claimed responsibility, identifying this man as the bomber. It's the first suicide attack the group has claimed in Somalia. It's seeking to establish a base in Puntland, a semi-autonomous region that's remained relatively stable for nearly two decades. Experts say it's a worrying development. The group was officially declared present in Somalia in 2015, but it hasn't been able to accomplish anything yet. ISIL militants briefly seized a port town in Puntland and attacked a former governor. Now they've changed tactics and are using suicide bombers to prove they remain active in the region. Authorities in Puntland say a day after the suicide attack, they killed two ISIL militants near the port town of Kandala. Another 20 surrendered. For years, Al-Shabaab has failed to set up a base in the mountainous area of northern Somalia, operating predominantly in the southern and central parts of the country. But it seems a small group of ISIL fighters has succeeded. They are led by Abdul Qadir Moumin, a former commander who had a major fallout with Al-Shabaab and fled with a handful of his fighters. The regional forces in Puntland have proved competent. In 2016, they dislodged Al-Shabaab when it tried to expand its operations. So ISIL is facing many odds in Somalia. It's not on good terms with Al-Shabaab and it doesn't control any town or village. Somalia's president Mohamed Abdullahi Farmaja has pledged to wipe out Al-Shabaab, vowing to drive the militants out of their bases. These are some of the newly trained soldiers who will lead that fresh offensive. But for this mission to succeed, Somalia's President Mohamed Abdullahi Farmajo wants the international community to revoke a two-decade-long arms embargo, especially as the country prepares to take charge of its own internal security from the African Union peacekeeping forces. Abdul Aziz Bilon, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.